this one guy is really over the top a little bit. Uh, what's he call himself? Um, I don't Garmin know. Guru. The Garmin Guru, yeah. Yeah. And uh, let me say, I appreciate his passion. He's really passionate about forward-facing sonar, and he's very knowledgeable. He knows his stuff. But we need to stay focused. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Almost finished with the boat, but that's a video for the uh, another day. Uh, got the carpet on order. Cables are almost done. I mean, the steering system is almost done, but that's a whole video for another day. Today we're talking about, I have seen and get a question all the time. Not if you just get a card from me, but if you have the programs uh, or the software updates on your computer, how do you do a forced update? It's really not that hard to do a forced update. You'll need the update on your computer. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna actually put up uh, some video that I shot off of my computer. Now, you'll have to have a past software update that if you're liking on your computer, you'll download it to your card. My favorite, of course, is 26.27, 26, .27, uh, 26 uh, 2.57. Uh, and about the 2.57 to 2.58 in the Echo Map system. What you have to do is download it to a card. Then you're going to go to this. Uh, this I'm going to put the link in the description. It's very important. Go to this link. Um, there are so many different systems and different. I mean, GPS Map 1222s are different than 1243s and 8600s. Echo Maps. They're all different and how you perform a forced update. So you're gonna to go to the link in the description of this video. When you go to that link, you find your system and then it will tell you how to do it. Then all you have to do, all you have to do is after it says recovery loader ready and I'll have that pop up on my screen, I'll show you a video of that also. When you do that, you simply insert your older uh, software update or the current one if you just want to reforce it and try it again but in, uh, insert that into the SD slot when you do that be patient walk away it's going to force update whatever uh, up software update is on your card the best thing I can tell you is walk away leave it alone Go do something else for about 10 minutes and then come back. And when it's went through the whole system, it'll say restart. You press restart. You have to reset up uh, all your preferences, essentially like it's new out of the box. And when you do that, like it's new out of the box, you'll go through it and then you'll have your forced update or your older software, the one you have your preference, will be on your unit then. Then I suggest you take that card put it out, put it away, put it in a safe place, either in your house or somewhere in your boat, uh, preferably not in your boat because you don't want the little contacts on the car to rust, put it in your house, label it, put an envelope, something, keep it for safekeeping. That way, if you decide to update in the future and you don't like it, you can go back. But guys, now I want to do the crappie uh, drawing for the ride. Uh, let's walk up here on the boat. Here it is. I went ahead and got one out for y'all. It's the King's Tail, my three pound crappie. Let's look at that. Really nice, comes with a real nice case. And I want you to watch uh, right here at the end. I'm gonna do the random draw. Uh, I want you to contact me either by the email that's in the, uh, in the description or in the comments below. Con uh, uh, just contact me and then we'll get together and I'll get those mailed out to you. So we got a lot going on in this one and we're giving away the rod. Uh, I'm showing you how to do a forced update. I'm gonna overlay some of these images onto the screen where you can really see them. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Also, Hank Parker, um, the Hank Parker, pretty cool. He responded to me, he didn't say anything bad. Matter of fact, I put it at the very beginning of this video, what he said. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't bad. But go to that video. And I'm going to tag that video also in the description. Go to that video, like it, 
comment on it and tell him that you would like to have the guru on his uh, podcast. That way we can talk about some of the things that we, we've all, that we all seem to have differences, whether you agree with me or not. Let's, I would love to talk to Hank Parker maybe on his podcast or uh, somehow. So go to the comment, comment and say, hey, get the guru on your deal. I've messaged him. I've left him my email and my phone number and I've emailed him. I have got no return back. Um, so hopefully if you guys bombard the page enough or bombard him enough, that he'll, we can get on the page and we can get on his podcast and maybe we can uh, talk about some of the differences and some of the differences he believes in. That'd be great conversation. All right. All I do is go to Google and I will have this link in the description, but I type in Garmin forced update and you'll see this. It'll say Garmin Marine devices forced update. And when you go to this website, uh, it gives you kind of the description. You scroll down to the bottom. As you see I'm doing here, you scroll down to the bottom and it gives you all the instructions of how to do this. You find your particular unit and you click on it. You'll see right there it says Echo Map, GPS Map. You click on that unit and then it will give you detailed instructions. Uh, it's much easier than me trying to do an entire video on how to do it because you'll have to make the video 30 minutes long. It's much easier just to go to the site uh, that I have in the description. Now, as you'll see, this is my computer. I have tons of updates that I've labeled on my uh, screen. I will always insert a, uh, a new... Uh, new or a a card an sd card that i don't use a lot but usually it's new when i'm giving people cards that they want i will insert it into the unit and when i insert it into the unit i will always uh format the card as you can see right here there's my card i'm going to put it into the uh unit and i'm going to format it now when you format a card you want to make sure it's in the proper uh uh, proper format mode uh, and that's going to be fat 32 um, I don't know what fat 32 is I just know that's what it needs to be in to talk to the uh, the fish finders uh, that Garmin has and so you'll format it it'll go through and it'll tell you all right now it's formatted then you'll pick the appropriate software update that you have on your computer um, these are these are all I, I download every single update you'll 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 pick on the appropriate one and then at the top it will say extract all you'll pr up, uh, choose the uh, folder or the uh, that has the SD card and that my computer is the G um, uh, you pick G and then extract all and then it will go through this i'm not going to take you through the whole thing here as it goes through and updates but then it'll do the, uh it'll go on and finish all right this part of the video is after we've downloaded it to the sd card and i know the appropriate uh forced update procedure to do on my unit now every unit is different that's why i posted the link in the settings and i also showed the website in the video but let's sh let's show how i would do it on this unit which is a gps map unit uh touch screen uh single power button 1243 uh so let's show how i do it on this one to get to the point where we insert the card let's go all right so the unit is off I'm going to say on this unit, it calls for you to take the power button, press it and hold it. Now it's going to do a beep. It's going to come on, but we're going to continue to hold the power button. All right. So now there's a long beep. We're going to continue to hold it again. We're, we're not letting off the power button. Now each unit has a different procedure and that's laid out uh, very clearly. Now, it come up and it says Garmin recover loaded ready. That's a common term. Now is when you insert your older uh, update card and it will update just like any update out there. And so uh, we're gonna, uh, it's actually starting a recovery update. We're gonna let it go on through because in the back of the unit, I do have the, uh, I do have the, uh, 26-2.57 in the unit. All right, guys, I hope that helped you. I hope uh, that shows you how to do the forced update on the units. Uh, they're different for every specific unit, so you just go to that website or go to that actual link that's in the uh, description, find your unit, and then follow those procedures, then insert the card, 
you'll be good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hope the winner messages me. I don't want to have to do three or four drawings. Ring the bell.